Imagine waking up one day to find out your entire mortgage or student loans have been wiped clean. That's the kind of relief $23 billion in forgiven debt brings, but on a national scale for several African countries. President Vladimir Putin made this groundbreaking announcement at the second Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg. This isn't just about generosity, it's a strategic move with layers of geopolitical chess at play, affecting millions of lives and possibly the balance of power on the African continent. This video dives into the why and the how. We'll explore what led to this massive debt forgiveness, how it impacts the involved African nations, and what Russia might gain from this. Stay tuned to uncover the deeper significance behind this move and how it could reshape future relations between Russia and Africa. Russia's relationship with Africa stretches back to when the world was sharply divided by ideological lines. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union, Russia's predecessor, emerged as a champion of liberation movements globally, Africa included. Countries fighting for independence from colonial rule found a willing ally in the Soviet Union, providing moral support and tangible aid, including military training and weapons. This wasn't just about helping friends in need. It was a strategic play in the global tug of war against Western powers, especially the United States. The Soviet Union's support helped foster strong ties with emerging African nations, planting the seeds for relationships that Russia continues to cultivate today. Fast forward, the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 marked a turning point. Russia, navigating its new identity and grappling with domestic challenges, had to rethink its approach to Africa. The immediate post-Cold War era saw a lull in these engagements, but by the late 1990s and early 2000s, Russia began to reassert its presence on the African continent. This resurgence was not driven by ideological battles, but by a pragmatic recognition of Africa's strategic importance, underscored by its vast natural resources, growing markets, and the potential for political alliances in multilateral forums like the United Nations. The debt that President Vladimir Putin announced for giving at the second Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg traces back to this complex history. Much of it originated during the Soviet era in the form of state loans provided to support development projects or military cooperation in several African countries. These loans were meant to cement the Soviet Union's influence in Africa, offering a financial lifeline for infrastructure projects, education, health, and military capabilities. However, as the Soviet Union dissolved and the global political landscape shifted, these debts lingered, becoming a burden for many African nations. The impact of this debt on African economies cannot be overstated. For many countries, the repayment obligations drained scarce financial resources that could otherwise have been invested in critical areas such as education, healthcare, and infrastructure development. The debt also placed African countries in a vulnerable position in the international financial system, affecting their credit ratings and ability to attract new investments. In some instances, the servicing of debt consumed a significant portion of national budgets, forcing governments to make painful cuts to social spending. Moreover, the nature of these debts and their terms often reflected the unequal power dynamics between the lending Soviet Union and the borrowing African states. High interest rates and the dollar denomination of some loans added to the repayment challenges exacerbating economic vulnerabilities. This situation highlights a broader issue 
faced by developing countries in their dealings with more powerful nations and international financial institutions, where debt becomes a tool of influence or control. In recognizing these challenges, Russia's decision to forgive $23 billion in African debt is a nod to its historical ties with the continent and a gesture aimed at resetting the economic foundations of these relationships. By erasing these debts, Russia opens up new possibilities for cooperation with African countries, free from the legacy of financial obligations that have long overshadowed their interactions. This debt forgiveness is not an isolated act, but part of a broader strategy by Russia to re-establish itself as a key player in Africa. It's a move that acknowledges the changing dynamics of global power and the increasing importance of Africa on the world stage. With its vast resources, youthful population, and growing economic potential, Africa is a continent on the rise, and Russia is keen to be a part of its future. As we shift to the heart of the matter, President Vladimir Putin, during the much-anticipated second Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg, laid out an announcement that turned heads not just on the continent, but around the world. In a bold move, he declared that Russia would forgive $23 billion in debt owed by African countries. This wasn't just about erasing a number on a balance sheet, it was a statement, a gesture of goodwill that resonated deeply with the leaders and citizens of the affected nations. But Putin didn't stop there. In addition to wiping out the debt, he pledged an additional $90 million for further support, aiming to bolster the economies of these nations and strengthen the ties that bind Russia to Africa. The reasons behind Putin's decision are as strategic as they are altruistic. In his address, he outlined a vision for a partnership that went beyond mere financial transactions. Putin spoke of strengthening partnerships, a phrase that encompassed not just economic ties, but political and cultural connections as well. He emphasized Russia's commitment to supporting African development, recognizing the continent's potential as a powerhouse in the making. Africa's dynamic markets, vast resources, and burgeoning youth population present opportunities for mutual growth, opportunities Russia is keen to explore and expand upon. Yet, perhaps the most striking aspect of Putin's justification for debt forgiveness was his reference to colonial legacies. Here, the Russian leader tapped into a narrative deeply embedded in the history and consciousness of African nations. By positioning Russia as a partner in overcoming the shadows of colonialism, Putin appealed to a collective desire for autonomy, respect, and equitable relationships on the global stage. This move wasn't just about financial relief. It was about rewriting the rules of engagement, about offering a hand in partnership where others had once imposed chains. This narrative of anti-colonial solidarity isn't new for Russia. Recall the Soviet Union's support for liberation movements during the Cold War, a historical fact that Putin subtly invoked to remind African leaders of Russia's long-standing support for their sovereignty and development. The debt forgiveness thus serves as a bridge between past solidarity and future cooperation, embedding Russia's contemporary engagements with Africa within a historical context of support and friendship. Moreover, Putin's announcement and the reasons behind it need to be understood within the broader geopolitical context. The move comes at a time when global powers are increasingly looking to Africa as a critical player in shaping the future world order. By forgiving the debt, Russia positions itself as a key ally to African countries, distinguishing its approach from that of Western nations and other global powers. This isn't just about benevolence. It's a calculated step in a global dance for influence, partnerships, and resources. The implications of Putin's announcement are far-reaching. For African countries, the immediate relief from debt burdens opens up fiscal space for investment in critical sectors like education, 
healthcare, and infrastructure. It provides a fresh slate to renegotiate terms of engagement with international partners, including Russia. For Russia, it's an investment in soft power, a bid to cement its role as a dependable ally and a counterbalance to Western influence on the continent. However, this gesture of debt forgiveness also raises questions about the future. What will these strengthened partnerships look like in practice? How will the additional $90 million in support be allocated? And what projects will it fund? And importantly, how will African countries leverage this newfound financial freedom to spur development and improve the lives of their citizens? Following President Vladimir Putin's announcement at the second Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg, the air buzzed with reactions from various corners of the globe, but most eagerly awaited were the responses from African leaders themselves. They didn't disappoint, offering a mixture of gratitude, optimism, and renewed hope for their country's futures. Leaders across the continent voiced their appreciation, recognizing the significant burden that debt forgiveness would lift from their economies. For instance, the president of Uganda, a country that has navigated the tricky waters of international debts for decades, hailed the move as a new dawn for Africa-Russia relations. He underscored the importance of such gestures in freeing up resources that could now be directed toward critical development projects such as infrastructure, education, and health services. Similarly, the head of the African Union lauded the announcement as a bold step towards strengthening ties between Russia and Africa, emphasizing the potential for this move to pave the way for more equitable and mutually beneficial partnerships. Beyond the continent, the global reaction was a mix of applause and skepticism. International financial institutions, long involved in debt relief and restructuring initiatives for developing countries, acknowledged the positive impact of debt forgiveness on the economic stability of recipient nations. Yet, they also called for transparency in the execution of these measures and stress the importance of ensuring that such actions lead to sustainable development outcomes. Western countries, viewing the development through a geopolitical lens, expressed a more nuanced stance. Some saw Russia's debt forgiveness as a strategic move to bolster its influence in Africa, a region where competition with China and Western powers has intensified in recent years. Critics argued that while debt relief was indeed beneficial for African economies, it should not come with strings attached or be used as leverage for political gains. In contrast, proponents of debt forgiveness, regardless of the creditor, argued that such actions were essential for addressing the systemic inequalities in the global financial system and supported any efforts that relieved African countries of their debt burdens. The reactions also reflected broader discussions on the nature of international aid, debt, and development. Activists and NGOs working on debt relief and sustainable development seized the moment to highlight the crippling effects of debt on developing countries. They called for a more comprehensive approach to debt forgiveness, one that includes transparent terms and conditions and prioritizes the long-term well-being of the recipient country's populations. Amid these varied reactions, a consensus emerged on the need for a renewed focus on development that is sustainable, equitable, and respectful of national sovereignty. The African continent is indeed becoming a new center of power. Its political and economic role is growing exponentially. The debt forgiveness announcement was a catalyst for discussions on how countries, especially those from the global south, navigate their relationships with powerful allies and manage the delicate balance between financial support and political independence. The ripple effects of Russia's announcement on the international stage set the scene for further dialogue on global financial structures and their impact on development. It underscored the ongoing debates about the responsibilities of creditor nations, 
the role of international financial institutions in fostering sustainable economic growth, and the importance of solidarity among nations in tackling global challenges. As the dust settled on the summit, it was clear that the announcement had sparked a broader conversation about the future of international relations, development finance, and the role of debt in shaping the destinies of nations. African leaders, buoyed by the prospect of a lighter debt load, looked forward to channeling their resources into areas that would have the most significant impact on their citizens' lives. Meanwhile, the international community watched closely, aware that this move by Russia could be a precursor to more significant shifts in the global order, with Africa playing a pivotal role in the emerging landscape. Diving deeper into the geopolitical and economic layers reveals the multifaceted nature of Russia's debt forgiveness move. On the surface, this gesture appears as a magnanimous act aimed at aiding African nations' development. Yet beneath this benevolence lies a strategic chess game on the global political board, where influence, power, and presence are the ultimate prizes. Russia's decision to forgive $23 billion in African debt isn't just about erasing numbers off a financial ledger, it's a calculated move to reposition itself on the African continent. Africa, with its rich natural resources, burgeoning markets, and strategic geopolitical position, presents a fertile ground for Russia to sow seeds of influence and counterbalance the expanding footprints of Western powers and China. By wiping the slate clean, Russia not only cements its position as a key ally to these nations, but also opens doors for future collaborations, military contracts, and resource access agreements that could tilt the balance of influence in its favor. Moreover, Russia's gesture comes at a time when the global power dynamics are increasingly fluid, with African nations playing a more central role in international affairs. By stepping in as a debt forgiver, Russia sends a strong message to the West and China. It's a formidable player in the quest for partnerships with African countries. This move also allows Russia to expand its diplomatic presence, offering an alternative to African nations that might seek to diversify their international alliances beyond traditional Western and Eastern blocs. The economic implications of Russia's debt forgiveness for African countries are profound. For nations burdened by decades-old debts, this move offers a fresh start, freeing up resources previously earmarked for debt repayment. These resources can now be redirected towards critical sectors such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure development, which are pivotal for sustainable economic growth. Additionally, the elimination of these debts could improve the creditworthiness of these nations, making them more attractive to international investors and potentially sparking a cycle of increased investments and economic growth. However, this debt forgiveness also raises questions about potential strings attached and the expectations of reciprocation. While the immediate economic relief is undeniable, African countries must navigate the complexities of this new relationship dynamics carefully. Russia, like any creditor nation, may expect certain concessions or preferential treatments in future diplomatic negotiations, access to natural resources, or support in international forums. These expectations, whether explicitly stated or implied, could shape the economic and political landscape of the recipient countries in the years to come. Moreover, the broader economic impact of this gesture extends beyond the individual countries involved. It sets a precedent for international debt forgiveness, challenging other creditor nations and institutions to consider similar measures. This could spur a global re-evaluation of debt as a tool for development finance, prompting discussions on more sustainable and equitable financial structures that support rather than hinder economic growth in developing nations. The analysis of the geopolitical and economic implications of Russia's debt forgiveness reveals a complex web of motivations and consequences. 
While the gesture undeniably provides immediate economic relief to African nations, it also reconfigures the geopolitical and economic equations on the continent. As African countries navigate this new terrain, the global community watches closely, aware that this move by Russia could herald a shift towards more dynamic and multifaceted international relations. The long-term outcomes of this strategic play remain to be seen, but one thing is clear, the implications of Russia's debt forgiveness extend far beyond the immediate financial relief, promising to reshape the contours of global diplomacy and development finance in the years to come. The bold move by Russia to forgive $23 billion in African debt not only reshapes the immediate financial landscapes of the involved nations, but also sets the stage for a transformed future in Russia-Africa relations. This strategic decision is more than a financial transaction. It's a pivotal moment that could redefine partnerships, trade dynamics, and geopolitical alignments on the continent. Looking ahead, the anticipation is that trade between Russia and African countries will see a significant uptick. With the debt burden lifted, African nations have more room in their budgets to engage in new trade agreements, potentially importing more Russian goods, ranging from agricultural products to technology and military equipment. This increase in trade volume could strengthen economic ties, laying the groundwork for a deeper economic integration that benefits both Russia and the African continent. Moreover, military cooperation is likely to intensify. Russia has historically been a major arms supplier to Africa, and with the slate now cleaned, countries might be more inclined to enter into new defense contracts. This could see an increase in Russian military presence in Africa through both sales and military training programs, which could shift the balance of military influence in the region. Political alliances are also expected to solidify. Debt forgiveness is a powerful tool for winning goodwill, and African nations are likely to remember Russia's gesture in international forums such as the United Nations. This could translate into a more synchronized stance on global issues, with African countries backing Russian positions or initiatives more frequently. Such alignment could have significant implications for international politics, especially in votes and decisions where global consensus is pivotal. However, this rosy outlook is not without its thorns. The long-term outcomes of this debt forgiveness involve navigating a complex web of challenges. For one, the sustainability of these burgeoning economic ties will be under scrutiny. African countries must ensure that new trade agreements and investments do not lead to a new cycle of debt or economic dependence on Russia. Similarly, increased military cooperation must be balanced with maintaining sovereignty and ensuring that the arms trade does not exacerbate conflicts within the continent. Furthermore, the move fits into a larger context of global debt relief efforts and the push for more equitable international relations. Russia's action could prompt other creditor nations to reconsider their policies towards debt relief. However, it also raises questions about the conditions attached to such forgiveness and the transparency of the agreements. The challenge for the global community will be to ensure that debt relief contributes to sustainable development rather than just shifting the dynamics of dependency. Russia's debt forgiveness could mark the beginning of a new era in Russia-Africa relations, characterized by increased trade, military cooperation, and political alliances. Yet the path ahead is fraught with challenges that will require careful navigation. The ultimate test will be whether this move leads to genuine development progress for African nations and contributes to a more equitable and balanced global order. The impact of this gesture will unfold in the coming years, potentially altering the fabric of international relations in ways we can only begin to speculate. And that wraps up our deep dive into Russia's monumental debt forgiveness for African nations. What impact do you foresee on the relationships between Russia and Africa? How might this shape the future of international diplomacy and economic development? 
Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this exploration, show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bringing you more engaging videos. See you next time.